What is going on guys DBG here and today we are doing what's probably the last of these cards are underrated and there's no zero hype the video I make every week basically what ended up what well, ended up just being the no money spent series because I never really did anything with that account uh, I never really for the last while no money spent series probably from season six onwards I was just making these videos once a week but at the end of the day at the end of the day this is gonna be the last time we're doing one of these so Cards that are good, but have no hype. Freaking Cade Cunningham. Cade Cunningham's Galaxy o Opal is good. He's good. And then, let's take a look at these. So, Cade Cunningham is not worth 235k. I'm just putting that out there right now. Maybe on current gen he is. Yeah, actually, on current gen he's a god. And then, I just want to see what price Jalen Green is. Jalen Green, yeah, he's he's definitely under 100k. He is pretty good. Jalen Johnson's a beast. He is so nice. So I just want to buy a bunch of these guys. I just want to buy a bunch of these guys, honestly. So color, dark matter, theme. I'm going to buy all the ones that I can buy. Again, I'm not going to really focus on any of the Opals. Even though the Opals aren't horrific. Because again, Kate Cunningham is probably the only Opal I'm going to buy. Because he's probably the only dark matter I won't be able to afford. I definitely won't be able to afford K Cunningham. So I just want to see which ones. Can I get anything for less than 12k? I can. I get anything for less than 10k. Well, that would be a Nah. I wish I wish we, they were Rudy Fernandez cheap. I wish they were Rudy Fernandez cheap. I think Rudy Fernandez is like 8k last week. I can get them for under 10. Why is there so many for 9 900 and none for 95? None for under 95. Um I'm not going to buy Dav uh, Davian Mitchell because I know he's not good. What's up with this then? There's loads for under 9k. Did I search 8500 instead of 9500? I must have looked for the wrong price. Ooh, Moses Moody. Um, It's Trey, man. Uh, Keon Johnson. Screw it, I'll buy him. Uh, he was already bought. Did I get over... Did I lose out on him when he was overspent? Uh, screw it. Like, I'm paying a little bit extra over the odds, but let's just buy Trey, man. So we've got four of these guys right now. We got four of these guys that all seem to be pretty good players. They all seem to be pretty nice players right here. He's going to be, again, an interesting one. Okay, I don't know why I searched into my auction house. I just want to see which ones players I'm missing out on. Okay, we've got we got these four and we got Jalen Suggs. I still have so much. I have I have like 200k worth of this is where now I'm gonna sell all my like duplicate diamonds and stuff. I've got a bit too. I can spend all these all this empty and still have some left, to be completely honest. I can spend it all. The worst is how long it takes to get to the theme next. There should be a drop down menu. Like you should you should be able to click in a button and like scroll through instead of having to scroll like this. Because there's no alphabetical order to this at all. Um, enabled price 1800 I wish you could search up not point guards I wish you could search up not point guards or not, not 1800 18,000 okay so the guy who apparently looks like me is over 23k he's god though he's god like I'm gonna have to pick him up he's again I've already done a gameplay with him he's over 27k is the enable feature broken or something? Or is he actually 30k? I think the enable feature might be broken. Oh my god, I bought it for 25k. 36k for Jalen Johnson. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, we're going to the we're going to the We're going to the old bids. We're bidding. Do I want to bid on Jalen Green? How, there are none of these are finishing. There are so few of these finishing. I kind of want to bid on Jalen Green. I don't know what price he goes for. But he's just Rudy Fernandez. Mick, stay strong. Stay strong. Jalen Green is just Rudy Fernandez. Jalen Green is just Rudy Fernandez. Stay strong, Mick. Um, I'm going to bid 25 on him. I'm going to bid... I'm going to put in a bid on him because I know he goes for 36. 
I don't even care if the bids. I just literally just need to get get him into the auction. Okay, it doesn't matter what I bid. I just need to get him into the other screen. So I can try to get him for cheap. I need to get him into active bids. Again, I'm fine with paying 25k for Kispert. Um, Jalen Johnson. There's two of them in the right there. He's going for 36k. So our whole thing is I'm trying to get him for under 30. Like Kispert again, he's 29 by it. I can easily, if I wait till tomorrow, I can easily, he's not part of this video. So if I wait for tomorrow, I'm, I reckon I can easily, easily get him for under um, 20K, but I get him for sake of 5K, I don't really care. I don't really care at this stage, it's August. It's August, it's not really about preserving MT, honestly, at this stage. Did I get him? Unreal, unreal. Add the collection, do not click out bid, do not click, do not click that, Mick. There we go. Okay. Again, I got quite a lot empty. Again, I'm gonna go 30. I'm gonna go probably 28. I wanna see what the actual high bid on this one is. I wanna see can I get him 31. Okay, they basically bid 31 on him. Imagine if I win this one for eight. I know I'm not gonna win it for eight, so. I'm gonna put a 20, no, not a 47. I'm gonna put a quick 29k bid on it. Imagine. 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 Did we pull it off? Ah, for God's sake, 2k. Your system's broken. In FIFA, if I get outbid, I get outbid, and I can see I get outbid. Your system's broken, 2k. Your, your bidding system is broken. Oh my god, it's horrific. Okay, so we're probably having spent 30, 35, 36. Nope. I don't want, I'm not spending 36 on him for sake of video. I might make it, I'm gonna make it tomorrow. I'm gonna screw up. 6 9 Michael Jordan coming out tomorrow. If I'm paying 36k for a card, it's better be, it's gotta be a solo video. Um, Dark Matter, what price is center theme? I don't know which is the easiest way to scroll to end because there's so many. It's 100. You know what? He's not even bad for 100. Can't lie. He's not actually terrible for 100. Um, Kaminga. He's pretty good. He's pretty good at small forward. So let's see what price he is. Over 19k? Dear lord. I'm shocked. I am shocked he's this expensive. 27k. He's not bad. Don't get me wrong. He's not bad. But that's steep. That is steep. I think I'm like, I think I'm good with the guys I picked up. I think I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Like I'm not paying 27K for a card that's not a full video. So at least I got like five or six of these. Honestly, Kay Cunningham belongs in that because he's base, he's on this gen, he's very good. So let's put in Trey, man. Uh, Moses Moody. Give me Kispert. And then... There we go. There we go. I love... One of the things I do like is that they're the first in all the tiers. Galaxy Opal. Point guards. Are they not... Is he not the first Galaxy Opal point guard? He's not. They're the first. They're the first ones here. And then just to make sure they're all on the team. There we go. So yeah, let's have a look at these guys' stats and stuff. So Trey Man um, has got 96 three ball, 95 driving dunk. He's got 96 uh, ball handle. Gets the good perimeter defense, really good speed, speed, acceleration, and good lateral quickness. Again, these guys all have basically perfect stats and perfect badges, can't lie. 6'6", six, six, he's got a seven foot wingspan. He's obviously a sniper. We've already gone over him in a video. Um, Ao De Sumna. Um, the sun, ma the sun moo, the sun moo. Again, I really do apologize. I need to, I need to learn his name because again, obviously he's going to be an NBA. He's going to be in the game next year. He's going to be drafted. I do apologize. I've been too busy. Um, I didn't watch college basketball, so I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. And if I have mispronounced it, I really do apologize for that. Um, but 94 three ball, 95 driving duck. Again, perfect stats, perfect badges. All these guys. Screw it. Let's just go in. Everyone except for Kay Cunningham is perfect stats and badges. And Kay Cunningham still the 93 three ball. 
and get a driving dunk once you get it to 85, it's fine. 94 ball handle, 92 steel, 93 speed through ball acceleration, 92 lateral, and he's got 50 offs. 50 offs and 23 golds. Like, I think he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. So this is Trey, man. What base? Is that Kemba? What base is that? I don't even care. It's chicken. It looks... It reminds me of uh, Cliff. It reminds... His upper reminds me of Cliff Robinson. A little bit. Base, every... I don't know why I'm, like, so shocked that his release is chicken. Basically, every release in this game is chicken now. Basically, every release is more than greenable in my team. Straight arm. There we go. Green. I don't know why it says my aiming slightly right. I'm clearly not aiming right now. Does he get a proper step back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He gets a step back. He gets a step back. Which means with takeover, I'm chucking. I'm chucking step backs. Again, takeover means... You know what takeover means? Step backs and stick fades. That's what takeover means. But, yeah. He actually... Whatever release that is, is nice. I need to look that up. Again, I think... It doesn't feel like Kemba. Is it Rudy? Is it Rudy base? It doesn't feel like that either. Because he's kind of small, so it's a little bit different. Um, I also need to get Jalen Green, Galaxy Opal, by the way. That's Rudy base. Wow, that's Rudy base on a point guard. That does not feel like Rudy base. But again, base doesn't mean everything. Moody. Oh, that's nice. That is a nice release. Man, all these guys are good shooters. He's Gallo base. Yeah, Gallo base is... Gallo base is elite. Gallo base is absolutely elite. Yeah, that's that's Forrest yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's Gallo base. Gallo base is absolutely elite. His dunking's gonna be good. He's got a really long wingspan. He's got seven foot tall wing. He's got seven foot long wingspan. And again, six six is a great height for defense on next gen. It is a great height. Anywhere between six six and six ten, realistically, are probably the perfect heights. Okay, so then we have got the Sun Moo. He's got PG base as far as I'm aware. I'm telling you, the upper means almost as much as uh, the base for jumpers. The upper means almost as much as the base. Like, he is a... I like that upper. I really like his upper. His, his wingspan looks long. Even though his wingspan's only 6'9", it looks long. He, he basically looks like a right-handed ver. He shoots like a right-handed version of Tiny Archibald. It's weird when he has... He has a catapult, but it does... It's fine. It's actually really easy to time. Even though it is a weird catapult. It goes behind his head. He has it. A hitch where he goes behind his head. It does not matter. His release is nice. His release is actually nice. Yeah, that's that's a really good release. All these guys can shoot. All these guys can move as well. Keon Johnson. I'm pretty sure. Has he got... What's the release? He has he has a weird release, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's nice. Whatever it is, is nice. Again, I don't care what the database says. Oh no, he's got he's the one with Kemba. He's the one with Kemba. I was about to say, I was like, I don't care what release the database says he has. This is an unbelievable release. Yeah, I'm a I'm a huge advocate of the Kemba Walker release. I am a massive, massive advocate of the Kemba Walker release. I think it's fantastic in this game. So now we are going to go on to Is it just Cade? Yeah, I think it's just Cade now. Just Cade, and then we got to go on to Jalen Green as well, his Galaxy Opal. Is his Galaxy Opal? For me, his Galaxy Opal feels almost the same as Pink Diamond. He moves so well. That, that 98 does not feel like 98, by the way. I don't like it on this gen, by the way. I don't like it at all. Like, he, yeah, he only has hot zones three to five spots. That doesn't make that much of a difference. He still has a 93 three ball. Like, you guys have seen me with the likes of Hedo and stuff. You guys have seen me with freaking Ben Simmons. How good I am shooting with him with no hot zones. Even in the hot zones, I struggle big time. I don't know whether it's Simmons upper on this gen. It's so difficult to find a sweet spot. It's so difficult for me to find a sweet spot. Okay, Cunningham. Like, he is really, really... He is really good. But it is so difficult to find that sweet spot with him. Oh, yeah, Curry. Give me that green. He can still do some... He can still do some good things, though. Obviously, I don't even think the better version is as good as Hito. So, obviously, this version is not as good as Hito. He has an 80 dunk, which is not the biggest deal in the world in this game. Like... Once contact dunks again, he's gonna get 85 with another player, Floor General and um, Frank Vogel. So I'm not worried about that. But 
I am a little bit worried. Honestly, actually, no. On next gen, I'm not worried about the lack of autumn. He's got a 93 shot. He's got a 93 three ball. I'm not worried at all about that. So, yeah, he is. But that's the thing. Like, they're the type of shots that I'm like, surely that should have gone in. I just don't know what it is. I don't. I like 98. I love it on Ferry. I don't know what it is with the Simmons upper. But the thing is, on current gen, man, K Cunningham's a god. On current gen, honestly, this K Cunningham is pretty good. This K Cunningham is really good on current gen as well. But yeah, he is really, really nice. Now I'm going to honestly look at the Opal version of Jalen Green. I mean, the Opal Jalen Green is... For me, if you're a big Jalen Green fan, and you're also a big fan of uh, not spending all your MT, he is one player I go with the Opal. I would not go, I would not even touch the Opal, any of the other Opals, except for Jalen Green and um, K Cunningham. K Cunningham because... Just to how expensive that Dark Matter is. And Jalen Green, because his Opal is actually pretty good. Like, his Opal is very, very solid. Okay, thank God. I thought I was going to have to pay, like, 8k for him. Okay, 6.25. Perfect. He's he's good. Like, he's really good, by the way. Like, he's got everything key as far as Opal point guards go. I have Mug and Silver. All point guards. As far as old point guards go, he's got he's got the whole package. He has got the entire like he's got everything you need. And I can't find him. He's a two guard. Be smart, Mick. Be smart. Is he, but the question is like, is he as good as like a DeRozan? Probably not. But still, he's good. Don't get me wrong, he's good. Like he's got 47 halves, 23 goals. He's got 70 total badges. Again. He only has gold clowns, but that doesn't matter, especially on this gen. No post game, but he's got an 89 three ball, but he's got hot zones everywhere. So he's going to shoot equally as well, if not better than Cunningham. 90 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, mediocre defensive stats, but uh, solid lower quick and some really good speed. And he's also 6'6 with a 7 foot wingspan. So that is a big one. Okay, where is he? Jalen Green. Kind of his player bill reminds me of KPJs. That, that upper, that upper is like freaking Manu's. That remind, this is not, he's not as good a shooter as really found is. He's got Curry base though, which is a really good release. But that upper reminds me of Manu Ginobili. It's the way he brings the ball up. It's not, he's not a bad shooter. Again, he's got hot zones everywhere. And every, by the way, the reason why I'm not showing dribble six, every one of these players has got pro two, pro three. Every single player in this set has pro two, pro three. So, um, dunking wise, again, he's pretty good. And it's in it'll be interesting to see. I'm not sure who the better Opal's going to be, him or K Cunningham. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to probably run K Cunningham as our big man because, well, we don't have any height uh, in, a, in a triple track game. But, yeah, this card right here, if you're going, if you want to go value wise and you like Jalen Green, Jalen Green is definitely a, uh, is definitely someone to run instead if you, uh, if you do need to. But it's crazy, like, of all the players today, all the rookies, the only ones that can play power forward, there's one that can play power forward and one that can play center. You've got Mobley, you've got um, Kaminga, and the rest, like, half of them are freaking point guards. I wish we had just one more that could play power forward. Like, why not give us Usman Garuba? Why not give us Usman Garuba, like? Okay, so let's see who we're coming up. I can use Suggs, I've already used Suggs. I'm gonna use... Honestly, I'm not going to go to any point guards. I'm going to use Johnson. And actually, I am using the point guard, but I'm going to go Opal point guards. I'm going to use Cade. I'm going to use Cade Cunningham. I'm going to use Kian Johnson. And I'm going to use Moses Moody. Hmm. No, nah, I'll use Trey, man. I'll use Trey, man. That is the least funny joke on the channel, but... I think I'm going to be so. I think it's going to be a joke to be made throughout 2022. Throughout 20, 2K22. I G. Jesus. This lad here. This lad here's mic was on full blast. Mike's still on full blast. Oh, dear lord. He's got Sim. Oh, give me that. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dot. Green. Chicken man. Let's go. I don't even know, again, I don't even know what release. I can't even remember who has what release. So I'm literally, anyone who says, oh, they time off muscle memory. 
Man, if you're playing any game other than Pro-Am, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work, like... There's a reason why, like, I'm having to look... I'm timing everything out of visuals. Dot. Green. That's a bad release. But it doesn't matter, Johnson hits two. Okay, come on, Cade. We're there. Come on. Come on. Big rebound. Come on, Cade. You're our point guard now. Look at me. I'm the point guard now. He might he might say he's the small he's our center, but he is our point guard. Okay, snatch back. Oh, green that. Oh yeah, Cade. Oh yeah, Cade Cunningham for three. And that's not one of his hot spots on the floor right there. Come on. That's a terrible shot to give up, but it doesn't matter. Kate Cunningham out rebounds! Okay. Maybe Cade is a underrated beast. We missed that pull-up because I missed a quick stop. Bam. Run corner. Run corner. I'll give up the two. I can't give up that. Bounce. Please bounce my way. Man, Simfular is not crashing at all. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me the white. He deserved that board. Even though he did grab through my player, he won 100%. And he also deserved that board. Simfular is not crashed at all. Simfular gets no boards, by the way. If you guys watch my uh, wager against Denver, Simfular gets no boards at all. He gets steals. He's the best offensive player I've ever used. Um, but he gets no rebounds. He's going to carry into me. How is that not a steal? Okay, he finally hits a shot with Ferry. Oh, he's he's got fake Ferry, by the way. If you guys don't know, he's got fake Ferry. As in, he didn't he didn't have to have the... Like, he did not spend the torture of uh, Season 6 grinding for uh, Danny Ferry. Like if you've if you've got the Danny Ferry and it's not the one you had to grind for, then I, and it's fake. It's the fake version of Ferry, by the way. If you did not have to grind fifty hours to get Danny Ferry, you don't have the real Ferry. Oh my God, I'm struggling now. Without, oh, he made that right cut. He does he want to shoot with Sim? Good shot. But say I was like, I don't think this guy wants to shoot with Sim Bular. Then he goes and greens with him. Pull back. No, two K. Don't screw me. We're good. Dot. Green. There we go. It's a big shot there. And it's lock. It's not what we wanted. It's not what we wanted. I did not want lock takeover. I don't even know what lock takeover does on next gen. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that three pointer. His 98 is different. That is the that is a completely different set point, by the way. Or release point. Maybe it's his upper, but it feels so different to, to like... I've used so many 98 players. I've used Hito. I've used Van Aardale. Feels so different. K Cunningham's release feels so different to all of them. I don't know what it is. Is his release only on quick or something? But his release on next gen. His release on current gen is unbelievable. But it feels so different on, uh, on next gen. Like it's not even. Like if you were to ask. If I didn't know the SIGs and you were to ask me what this release was. I would not have guessed 98. That is just dumb. Just shoot it, man. Just shoot it. I don't care. I don't care if you're... This guy is absolutely... Absolutely 50. That's dumb. Green. Chicken man. Why do I shed chicken man on the one guy on my team that I said is a terrible shooter? Well, not terrible shooter. Just feels weird shooting with. Okay, he finally hits a white. Okay, I need to actually win this game. Win this game now. Just rim run. You know what? It's Trey, man. He's gonna he's gonna destroy. That's what he does. That's what he does. Not a chance. Big board. Big board. Oh, 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 oh. Does he not? Does he not? No. Does he not know who I am? Does he not know who one way Mick is? Does he not know who one way Mick is? One word, six letters. We out here taking leaders, lads. Does he not know? Who one way Mick is, lads? We are out here taking leaners. And I'm not sure my OBS froze there. The video might have froze. The video may or may not have froze during that. And if the video did freeze, we uh we stick we green to stick fade. It was uh the shot was so good that the game had to like glitch. But honestly, some of these guys are super, super good. Like, those two, those cheap two guards, the 6'6 six, six guys, that all have the seven foot long wingspans, are they spectacular? No, are they really good yet? They're like better versions of Mikael Bridges. They're like better versions of what Mikael Bridges was, which is really solid. 
Like they're all more than usable. Every one of these cards has a has a usable card right now. I'm gonna say it is you can use every one of these cards except for maybe Mitchell, who I decided not to even mention. But yeah, that's pretty much it, lads. This will be the last one of these. Hope you guys enjoyed these throughout the last couple of months. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.